Hey everyone and welcome back to Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon. On this video we're doing the mission Historic Data Recovery and we're gonna do that with some of the AC data that we've acquired. So let's go to our presets and this time we're gonna bring Cinder Carla AC full course and that is missing 2,394,000 in parts. Very expensive. Let's go ahead and pick that up. That'll drop us to 8.3 million. All right, so what does she have? For the right and left arm, she's got a siege missile launcher, the WS-5000 Aperitif. For the right and left shoulder, it's a scatter missile launcher, the WS-5001 Soup. The head is the appetizer. Core is main dish, arms is salad, and uh, legs, bipedal dessert. Uh, the booster is a Kikaku. FCS is focused on close and medium range. Long range isn't bad either though. It's fairly balanced. Uh, generator Hakoshi, one of the uh, heavier ones. And expansion is assault armor. All right, let's load back up so we get the paint. Especially with Carla, she's got some interesting paint, to say the least. And we're all set. Historic data recovery. Combat zone is Central Icefield Ingebret Tunnel. Objective, retrieve data. Reward, nothing. Details, salvage historic data scattered, or scattered throughout the subterranean tunnel. No base pay, compensation derived from sellable data recovered from PCA Rex. It's about the Engelbert Tunnel, which is to be shut down after it was hit by a coral surge. I want to go there and survey the area. Even before the coral surge, that place had been all but abandoned. It's an old structure, dating far back into the colonization of Rubicon. There must be items of interest from throughout the planet's history there. As I'm sure you're aware, I have no resources with which to pay you. But I can propose an alternative. If you find any wrecks left by the PCA, you should try accessing them. Both the corporations and the Rubiconians are gathering data on PCA technology. Whatever you collect, I can exchange for credits and transfer the funds to you. several wrecks that we should be able to recover data from. I'll send the marker data. All right, down we go. So let's try out our hand missile launcher. And I really like it because it kind of like puts the missiles in front and then fires them, which makes them incredibly accurate. So I really like that. The shoulder weapons I'm not as enamored with. But the the aperitif. Coral is able to conduct data and can influence digital equipment. The effects of the coral solutions to cross some of the back online. Let's see what we can find. But the aperitif is pretty cool. I actually like it a lot. Shoulder weapons are alright, but they I don't know, they seem less accurate. That was fine, but in general, I just haven't liked them as much. Let's see how they do there. Yeah, I guess that was good. The blast radius seems incredibly small for both of them, though, which is a little odd. 
It might just be these enemies, they're kind of special where you have to highlight them first. So I'm not sure, but yeah, it's a little weird. But yeah, that's basically all Cinder Carla is. A bunch of explosives, but it does make me appreciate the imperative. I really like that. Just drop your missiles and then move wherever you want and they'll come by later. That's pretty sweet. And a shocking amount of ammunition, I must say. PC craft data. I'll exchange it for credits and send them to you later. Alright, let's go up top. So many of them. I don't have a good weapon to just clean things up, but it's fine. We can waste some ammunition. I like exploding things. Ow. I'm getting shocked. Alright, who's left? Or left. Oh, that was accurate. All right, think I got them all. Yep. All right, this way. Missiles, get them. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. I love that. That's so great. Carla knows how to make weaponry. This data seems valuable too. I'm so glad this is turning into a profitable mission. Let's keep looking, Raven. An older generation of AC. All right, more data. According to the timestamp, this was recorded two days before the fires of Ibis. This seems to be about the warning signs of the calamity, right before it struck. I will say, Cinder Carla is slow. Her AC is not fast. Oh, we left one over there. Take care of him. Anything else? Nope. All right, to our objective at the bottom. Missiles, go! <laughs> All right, uh, let's go down this elevator shaft or whatever this is. Get that. Alright, shoulder weapons for him. Shoulder weapons. Hand weapon. Hand weapon. And took them all out. No problem. Another old research institute, I see. This is about the first augmented humans. The same coral technology that created you. But without it, we never would have made contact. I'm not picking up any more data stores. If this outing has made you think about Rubicon's past or the nature of coral, 
then it was all worth it. Alright, our mission is complete. We got paid 118,000. Our expenses, and all of that was bonus pay. Our expenses were 36,422. Repairs were 6,812, and ammunition was somehow only 29,610. I actually expected that to be higher with all those missiles. And we take home 81,578. As for our bonus pay, it was data sale proceeds from air. We got ourselves a deal, Handler Walter. Michigan. So, Archibus met us halfway? I gave them the heavy warship fleet. In exchange, Balaam's in charge of putting down the beast. They also offered some top Vespers. <laughs> Guess they don't trust us. Better than nothing. I'll provide what support I can, too. Yeah, you're mad scientists. R.A.D. or whatever. And that hound of yours. Michigan. Don't underestimate 621. That hound always delivers. What kept you, 621? You're a famous mercenary now. Time to act like one. <sighs> this next mission's all or nothing. Make sure you attend the briefing. Alrighty, so our mission is complete and we are all done here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.